So I'm over here waiting in my car again, uh, hanging out by myself. Look at that view, that is beautiful. Um, I'm just waiting for my kids to get out of youth group, another youth group. They have two during the week. Very important that they have youth group. You know, um, many times we cannot get everything in on a Sunday morning. We just can't get important conversations in. And something I'm very proud about is one of my sons asked, has been asking me, how do we know the Bible is the word of God? How do we know for sure it's the word and not just like somebody came up with it, like wrote a book and said, you know, no, I, I'm saying this is God. You know, we could write a book and say, I'm saying this is from God, which would be, I would be lying to say that my words are God's words. But um, it, it was, it's been an interesting conversation. And then I had actually with him um, talked to the pastor and other people about this question. And we had, um, you know, some good answers. Like one is historically, it is true that um, those who saw Christ historically, the witnesses were, um, there's only a short amount of time that they were there with Christ after Christ um, was on the earth. So we have that witness. We have layers and layers of um, witnesses. Um, we have, you know, the people who put the Canaanite together. Um, they had put it together and decided which books were true, which books were going to be part of it. And, you know, Paul writes the books in the Bible and talks about how um, this is what God basically says to him. So an another aspect of believing the Bible is faith. Everything I have read so far in the Bible has been true. The principles are amazing. For example, Christ says, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Um, any way you try to get into heaven besides believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and he died for us and um, he paid the penalty for sin, everybody is, you know, everybody has sinned. Anyone who says they have not sinned is a liar, is what the Bible says. And it's true. None of us are perfect. We all have messed up. We all have wrong thoughts and wrong actions and on and on it goes. And, you know, a lot of people will say, well, yeah, we're human. It goes, it goes without saying, yes, we are human. Um, but on top of being human, we have a very sinful nature. We choose to do life our own way many times instead of doing what the Bible says. There is some room for interpretation, but we do want to build on the rock. So, um, you know, church is something I've been doing and I have learned a lot through just certain words. When we hear the Bible in the principles and we turn our life toward the light, I mean, the Bible says that we all tend to love darkness. But when we walk in the light, which is Christ, Christ was the light. When we start thinking about things he says and doing, our life changes. That's probably been the biggest life changer for me is that, um, you know, the Sermon on the Mount. It's like one of my favorite parts of the Bible. When Christ says that those who build on the rock, the storms come in life and they hit hard. But when you're building on him, um, you're gonna, your, your house is not gonna fall. If you don't build on him, it's going to crash. Um, he also says, blessed are those who are poor in spirit, those who know they don't have it together. It's so easy to look at like Elon Musk or someone else that wants, that looks like they have it together. But Jesus says, you know, no, blessed are the ones who know that they don't have it together. Um, blessed are the poor, they will be comforted. Blessed are those who mourn, they will be comforted. I don't have my Bible right in front of me, but 
this is the gist of it, that it's like a backwards part of the way the world works is one system and the way God says that we are to live has different principles. So yeah, it's important to keep your kids um, closely connected to, to others who also believe.